Hello and in this screencast for Apache ISIS I want to show how we can use subscribers to also decouple functionality um, that's in our domain object. So in this case I'm going to talk about this business rule here um, which applies to changing names. Let's remind ourselves of that functionality. If I try to change the name and have an exclamation mark there, then that's not allowed. Um, but we might want to move this functionality out so that it applies to any uh, object that has a name. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to create a new interface called um, has name. Uh, then that's going to obviously have a void set name string name and uh, string get name. Um, let's make simple object implement that interface fairly trivially. Um, and then what? we're going to do next is we're going to have a subscriber so I'm going to have a nested subscriber here um, public static class no exclamation marks well, let's just call it validation subscriber extends from abstract subscriber which is provided by the framework it's a domain service nature of domain meaning it doesn't appear in the user interface we are going to subscribe to name domain event which is coming from the simple object we're going to tidy that up in a second I make the, this action be annotated with subscribe so that the guava event bus knows where to, to deliver the event to and then what we want to do is check the phase of this event these uh, actions are invoked for various different phases we're talking about validation and so we want to get hold of the um, the new value, the proposed new value of the name, and uh, then let's apply our rule. So I'll go back to the original implementation, and it's basically uh, this code here, I suppose. So if the name contains that, then what we want to do is um, ev dot invalidate with a reason. The reason being exclamation marks not allowed. And uh, I think that will do the job for us. Let's go back to simple object and remove that rule. Um, let's just talk quickly about the domain name domain event which is um, being broadcast because we have this uh, attribute here for the app property annotation. Um, if I look at the the subscriber we've got this nasty little dependency on simple object but we could actually improve matters by moving the name domain event perhaps into the has name interface and so then this will just simply say uh, has name and I think that that is nicely encapsulated so um, let's give it a go let's try it out Okay, the application's running. Let's uh, test it out by uh, choosing the edit and put exclamation marks, and we get the same validation message. So that's a um, a subscriber, and what's going on? Just a recap is that whenever the uh, object is being modified the framework is emitting this name domain event and we have the subscriber that's basically receiving the message and or the event and uh, then invalidating as necessary hope that makes sense give it a go try it out